You said, no, that's fine. You asked, so I told. No, I didn't ask you to tell me the biggest f bummer news in the world. I said, hey, what's up? How are you? You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Kirby. So this might be the worst streamer I've ever seen. Now, I've never been much of a live stream viewer in general. It's not really my thing. I've always preferred to watch a, a YouTube video or something instead of tuning into a stream that potentially lasts for hours. But with that said, I can recognize why streaming is such a big deal. You know, there's obviously a sense of uh, community that comes along with it. You could chat with other people watching. And generally, there's a lot of interaction between the streamers streamer and the viewer almost like a friend in a sense so just imagine how it would feel if your favorite content creator slash streamer who even knows you on a name-to-name -name basis completely shat on you after your mom died well that's exactly what happened here when a viewer responded to a question of why she hasn't been watching the stream lately in spanish and it's chef's kiss all right Curvy, where the fuck have you been? Oh my god, well tell you what, Miss Dirty Curvy, you know what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna talk about it in my chat. Cause it's Friday, and that is a whole big bucket of bummer. And I'm sorry for your loss, but we're not doing that in my f chat. Uh, thank you. Well, okay, Miss Dirty Curvy, you said no, that's fine, you asked, so I told. No, I didn't ask you to tell me the biggest fucking bummer news in the world. I said, hey, what's up, how are you? Probably the worst reaction you could have to someone telling you their mom died. And I'm not really sure how or why he seems to be that annoyed. I mean, you don't have to initiate an entire therapy session with one viewer in the chat, but to be making this big a deal out of it is a terrible look. Not to be too nitpicky as well, but the initial question wasn't how are you, but rather where the fuck have you been? And the viewer gave an honest answer. A regular viewer that I'm sure is loyal and seems to be on a name-to-name -name basis with the streamer. You know, kind of a dick move to be like this with your own fan base. Not very smart as well if you want to make it as a streamer. I mean, wow, the complete and utter <laughs> lack of self-awareness to be doing this in front of the entire community you built up is insane. Bummer news in the world. I said, hey, what's up? How are you? You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Kirby. When something really, really bad is going on in your life and in a public forum, someone asks you, hey, what's up, how are you? There are two acceptable response, uh, responses. Good and you know what? I'll make it through. That's it. How are you? Good or you know what? I'll make it through. Awesome. Love to hear it. Or how about just not asking surface level questions you might not want the answer to? And for someone giving an entire lesson over here on the most socially acceptable responses, this is without a doubt the worst response you could have chose. Straight up going on an entire rant shitting all over this viewer who's parent passed away after you asked you know recommending the most basic responses as well when you could have just said one yourself and leave it at that something like sorry to hear that my condolences maybe you could have also asked the chat to give some support to the viewer you didn't even take your own advice here through awesome love to hear it see there you go or prom's response I, yeah i said prom how are you doing she says i'm alive there you go Oh, I asked you where you were. Look, Mr. DeCurvy, all I'm trying, I'm just subtly trying to tell you that unloading really heavy news in people's chats on Twitch is not like good etiquette. It's just, it's not the place to do it. That's all I'm trying to tell you. That's it. I'm just, I figured this is a good opportunity to inform you. Now I can understand the point he's trying to make here, you shouldn't be going around dumping heavy stuff on unsuspecting people, and Twitch chat obviously isn't a place to be having a therapy session, but with that said, this isn't a case where any of that really applies, and in no circumstances having this kind of reaction to that information a good look. This is a horrible look, especially to say to a, a regular viewer who again seems to be on a name-to-name -name basis with this streamer. In the beginning, he even says, where the fuck have you been? Clearly, there's some familiarity there. Like, you know, this isn't just some unfamiliar person who came in and started talking about this stuff. It's almost weird how he's against basic decency of just saying, you know, sorry for your loss and leaving it at that. I figured this is a good opportunity to inform you 
heavy news like that, when someone asks, hey, where have you been? You don't need to tell them, well, my dog died, my husband left me for a younger woman, my house burnt down, and my car got stolen. So I've been a little bit busy. That's why I haven't been around. Because it's like, oh, God. Like, ugh. Ugh. Like, you know, like, if, if someone asks, like, hey, what's up? Where have you been? And it's heavy. Just be like, I had a bunch of shit going on. So I've been lying low for a little while. Got it. That's it. <laughs> I'm not trying to rip you a new ass. I mean, you just went on an entire rant singling out a viewer who said their mom passed away after you asked in front of a bunch of other viewers on a live stream. That does kind of sound like you're ripping them. Again, the complete and utter lack of self-awareness is mind-boggling. Now, this is actually a pretty old clip. This happened a little over a year ago, and you might be wondering why I decided to make a video on it now, and that's because one, because it's content, and two, because it's a lesson on what not to do if you're ever want to become a streamer, YouTuber, or even just run a business in general. Just like how it's important to know how a business treats its clients, the way a YouTuber or streamer cherishes and respects their fan base is just as important. This guy clearly got way too big-headed after building up his little community on Twitch, and I'm no psychologist, but the narcissism looks out of control now. Now, that's not to say you need to be friends with every single person who watches you, but to completely shit on and disrespect the viewer, especially in front of an audience, isn't exactly gonna get people to want to watch you, or buy your product, or whatever. In this case, this guy has cemented himself as a complete dickhead in front of his entire audience and anyone that might hear about him in the future. And I say cemented because he did come out with an apology video, and it is one of the worst apologies I've ever seen. I've decided to make a video to address this whole situation regarding my reaction to someone's grief comments in my chat. Uh, that have gained traction on on Twitter, which is you know why we're here is why we're doing this uh, There's a few things that I'd like to make clear about the matter at hand Firstly, it is well known in my channel that I do not tolerate heavy news drama or trauma uh, Dumping if you will being entered or dropped into the chat So that's something that I want to make sure everyone understands uh, secondly the clip that this individual has provided was edited and chopped up to cut out a lot of the context and dialogue required, I feel, to fairly assess the matter as it truly unfolded. Uh, you've seen the edit, but what it doesn't show is that twice, I didn't acknowledge her comments about the deceased family member on purpose. It wasn't until the third time that she brought it up in chat and expressed how horrible life has been that I reacted to it the way that I did. And she expressed to me that she understood why I don't like that sort of thing being entered into my chat. We had an understanding. The frustration you witnessed in that edited clip that she provided is a result of this expectation not being understood as I believed it was. The frustration from having her argue in chat that she was, quote, just answering my question, even though she's been spoken to about this type of thing before and she knows full well, you know, she was a streamer for a time, uh, that this type of thing is most certainly frowned upon. I'm sorry for hurting her feelings and for being, you know, about it. But I'm not sorry for reminding her and others in the community to leave your baggage at the door when you enter someone's chat. I don't pander. I don't pussyfoot around something that bothers me or needs to be said. I don't mind informing someone that their chat etiquette fucking sucks. No matter the situation, clearly. Sorry. Dude, I'm getting follows right now. From Joe JCKS, Bro Chacho, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, maybe we should just, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna cut this out. Let's, let's, one and done, I like to say. One and done. Yet another spectacular content creator apology that isn't an apology at all. I've never seen an apology where someone doubles down on their actions and even tries to justify them. There might be some rules in the chat about not talking about heavy topics, which is a, a valid rule for sure, but at the end of the day, you ask your viewer where they've been. It's that simple. 
I guess everyone in the community is supposed to lie and be nothing but positive at all times 24-7 in the chat. This man said in like 30 different ways, I lack basic human empathy. I love my community as long as they act positive 100% of the time is all I heard from this. To leave your baggage at the door when you enter someone's chat. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos coming soon to the channel. And let me know what you think about this whole situation and live streamers. Live streaming in general. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Is he in the right maybe on some points? Let me know. Leave a comment. Peace.